Although the 3D inspection software is not a full email client, it does have the ability to email items directly to your contacts or inspectors by means of your own SMTP email account. In order to do this, you must first enter your outgoing SMTP settings using Office Management, Maintain, Office Management Preferences, Emailing tab. Most email services provide a standard method of emailing called SMTP, which stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. If your email provider supports standard explicit SMTP compliant protocols and doesn't do anything special or non-standard, you can likely use it with 3D. You would need to obtain the correct SMTP settings to use from your email provider, as we wouldn't have any idea what those might be and certainly wouldn't know your login information. Many email services will have them listed online if you search their site for SMTP settings. Or you might contact your email provider or ISP for this information, or even check what outgoing account settings are used in your main email client. Note that many services may have one or more sets of SMTP settings available for use, including different port options. So if one group of settings or a port number doesn't work, try the alternatives that they might provide. There are also free email services available online that can be used to send from 3D. So if you have any trouble setting up your main email SMTP settings, for instance something specific to your company, you could even set up a free email in something like Gmail or Outlook.com to use. With that said, let's demonstrate how you might set up 3D using a free Outlook.com account. This setup information is known to be accurate as of 2015, but could always change at a future date. To make this example work, we previously set up an Outlook account of our own. You could do the same by visiting Outlook.com and signing up for a free account, which is provided by Microsoft. After you sign up for an account, send a test email from your usual email account to your new email address and verify that you are able to log into your new account and view the test email. If you are able to view the test email, you then know your account is working and you are ready to enter the account information into your 3D program. First, we need to find out what SMTP settings we should use. So we're going to open up a browser and we're going to go to the Microsoft website, where we are here, and we're going to search for Outlook.com SMTP settings. And here in our list of findings, we have information, set up an email app with Outlook.com. So we'll take a look at that page. And we want to look for information about SMTP. So here we go. We'll scroll down so we can view it. And we notice that it says to use settings in our email app, and it has outgoing SMTP server settings here. Now that we know what settings to use, we can enter them in 3D. So returning to the 3D program in the emailing tab, first we'll enter the SMTP server. In fact, we'll move it over so we can see both, or we might even copy it. Now the login name is your own account, your user account name for your email. So we have to use the sample one that we set up. And you would need to enter your own password that you created for your account. Now for the email username, some accounts that send might display this as the sender, so you might enter your name or company name. Whereas other services like Outlook.com will simply ignore this and use your uh, the email that it's sending from, but you shouldn't leave it blank in 3D. So for this example, we'll just enter our fictitious company name. For the return email address, you would want to enter your account email address here. Now 
Now for the SMTP port, our Outlook information says to use either port 25 or 587 if 25 is blocked. So we'll try it first with port 25. If that doesn't work, then we would next try the alternative because some email uh, providers or your ISP might block certain ports from uh, being used or even certain email providers may block certain ports from being used if they are heavily used for spam. Next we will check the use SSL box because it mentions here on the Outlook page that it does use an encrypted connection. TLS happens to be a newer type of explicit SSL encryption. If you find your settings don't work for your email, you might try each suggested port with and without SSL enabled. So our setting here should be correct for our example, but they may vary for you and the account you are using. Now that we are finished with the most basic setup that would be needed, we could simply click OK to save and then send a test email for a job to verify that it's working. However, before doing so, notice the additional tab for email messages. These are optional default messages for the body of your emails to save time when sending an invoice, an inspection report, or a document. The first message we want to configure is when we send out an invoice or a receipt. Whenever you mark an invoice paid in the 3D software, it automatically prints paid on that invoice, turning it into a receipt. So first we'll type dear and since I would like to include the client's name, we'll insert a merge field and we'll choose the client first name. And since I would have clients prepay me for inspections, I'll type, here is your receipt for the inspection at, and let's include another merge field to insert the job address so we'll insert the site address on, we'll insert another one for the inspection date, And I've added another sentence. Thank you for your business. And let me correct that. Feel free to contact us with any questions or concerns. Now you may also want to include your company name and number or other contact information you want your client to have. Now to save time, I'm going to copy and paste this comment into the message used when sending the other items. And we'll simply adjust the wording as appropriate. So for instance, for the message used when sending an inspection, I will change receipt to inspection report. And for the message used when sending a document, I will adjust this to information regarding because perhaps this document could be a contract or a summary or any other type of generic document and that way the message here is going to apply regardless of what I'm sending. You can always override these messages or edit them before actually sending your emails. Let's save our settings by clicking OK. Now we are finished setting up 3D to use the free email service, so let's test it out. Let's edit a job. And click the email button at the bottom, which is used when emailing an invoice or receipt. If your invoice is marked paid, it turns into a paid invoice or a receipt. All the contacts for the job and the inspector assigned to the job that have email addresses entered will appear automatically. I could simply select the particular contacts 
whom I wish to receive this email communication. I can also specify an additional or an alternate recipient in the additional email addresses field. You can include multiple ones by putting a semicolon between them. If you want to send yourself copies of all outgoing emails for your own records, you could enter your own email in the blind carbon copy field, and it will remember that information for the next time. In this case, I'll simply enter a subject. Notice that our default body information automatically appeared with merge fields merging in a name, an address, and a date, and my other information that I typed in. Everything looks in order, so I will send. If you sent the test to yourself, which is what we would recommend after first setup, you may now check your email to view the email that was sent out. If the email fails, you would get an error message and would want to recheck your settings. Now you may similarly email a report writer report. For instance, if we simply save and exit our job, we'll select our job and we'll open our inspection. While the report is open, tap the printer icon in the toolbar. In the Print To field, change the setting to Send As Email instead of using a printer, and then simply tap Print. A similar Send Email window appears, allowing you to submit a report. It will automatically create the report and allow you to send additional options. For instance, Note that you may optionally choose to include your invoice or receipt along with the report, or you may deselect it to omit it. Although we won't demonstrate it today, I'd like to mention that there is a further option you may set up on the Office Management Preferences for FTP email settings. When set up, this option allows 3D to upload your reports to a website while generating a private link for your clients and automatically emailing that link to them for accessing the report. This option has the advantage of making emails smaller since the report is not included as a direct attachment but as a private internet link. See the Office Management Help topic about FTP email features for more information including setup details. With this option you have the ability to use a free 3D hosted website or your own FTP website area for report delivery. When enabled an additional option appears on the report send email window that allows you to send report through FTP link. Then your screen would look something like this. If the option is not available, then the FTP option has not been set up yet. As you can see, there are a number of options that can make automated report delivery easy.